Hello everyone, and we're back with more Corpse Party D-Headed Deluxe Edition. It's a, it's a D headed or is it D head it? I don't know. Hey kid Sup. Yeah. I guess seeing it up close it's a little more obvious it's a girl. Ah, oh, she's got no head above her chin! I like how he just noticed it. It's like, <laughs> I walked right, right up, that, up to that kid. Oh, no. How am I supposed to know whose tongue we have got? Plop the what, tongue back. What happens if you say no, don't I just kill you anyway? I assume so. I mean, sure. Hey. Let's see, no. <laughs> This is starting to feel like a bad idea. The other ghost is headed this way. We have to run. Oh, it actually does give you a chance to run away. That's funny, that actually means these ghosts can't kill you unless you guess wrong. Which we did, but... Because if they catch you, you can just say, No, I don't want to give them a Unless the other ghost kills you, you say no. It might, yeah. I don't know. Because she was like, oh, the other ghost is heading this way, we gotta run away. Yeah. How the tongue bag? Yeah, sure. I like how it's quite that. <laughs> it's my favorite kind of bag, the tongue I bag. I really take it. That girl is like super happy to see her tongue from those like gurgling sounds <laughs> of pain. It's actually kind of more gross than I remembered it sounding. Because I. Huh? Go ahead. Because, I mean, you can practically hear, like, swishing sounds when she's gurgling. It's hard to describe, but... Yeah. It brings up some bad imagery. The little girl's spirit is staggering to what, Ayum? Blood gushing up from a gaping cross-section of head as she walks. See? That kind How of imagery. How do those bleed? <laughs> she's, they... like, blue, so does, <laughs> does she, like, bleed blue blood? I guess, I guess she does. She's a true blue. Did, does that mean his mouth bleed blue? They probably do, actually. Wouldn't surprise me. Smurfs do everything blue. And Smurfy. They probably bleed Smurf, actually. This is yours, isn't it? I'm giving it back. It sounds happy. What's happened? Desert goes is headed this way. We have to run. Hey, that's a reuse of text. <laughs> that is actually, yeah. Oh well. Um, sure, I can run. Wait, I don't know where I'm running, but I'll run. So I guess we killed a ghost. Ah, uh, killed isn't the right word, but. Hey, that was a door dome. Yeah. No, I think that. Oh, wait, no, wait, it's stairs. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we want to so go back to the beginning. I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like. Where would we go? Wait, you have a cursed door. What does it do? It Didn't does. It have a... But I thought we found a tongue. What did we do with the first tongue? I think we gave it to a different ghost. Then why the fuck are they still, like, so. Because... By this. <laughs> because ghosts are dicks, and they will kill you if you don't appease them. So we have two ghosts. Like, why? Isn't this guy the main character? He's doing everything. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of. He's he's pretty much the. I'd say aside from the main character, he is probably the most important um, character. I don't know. It's hard to say. There's I. There's, but I haven't um, seen the main character kill any ghosts yet. <laughs> I'd say there's um, a few characters I would name who are really important to the story, but if I told you who, that'd be a bit spoilerish, so whatever. Oh no. I don't know, with that dress, she, just looks like a, she, she looks like she's just sleepwalking. <laughs> she kind of does. Oh, okay, here's it. Here we go again! Where the hell is it gonna take us this time? We beats. Yeah, it sure is a sad antique doll. 
where your friend was splattered. That's not exactly a riddle. Or like anything. It's I know. Like... It, it's really noticeable. Okay. Floorboards beneath that wall. Got it. Head under yeah, her yeah. globby entrails. Okay, Thanks. You can stop. Can Please stop. stop. I'm, I can, I'm gonna throw you across the floor. Gonna, we're gonna stop. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we get it. I'm gonna step on your face so you don't shut up, you dick. Drip drop, huh? Okay. Oh my god. We get the picture, actually. Okay, exactly. <laughs> Who exactly is this doll? Why is it so mean? I don't know. Dig it out? I'll dig out your face. Shit it's bag. A, you, you're yelling at the door. I think I am she's gonna have problems with you. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm allowed to yell at the doll. It's kind of a dick. Look at it laughing at me. That's so, I assume the ghost didn't know that the tongue was there. Otherwise, it would have just grabbed it. Does that mean that it's just really coincidental? What? Oh, that they where they threw the person? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is just coincidental. Okay. No. What would she have said otherwise? She's just like under the floor, just in this random room. Yeah, you'd think so. No. She actually did throw the doll through my self. Through your face. I don't know how she did that actually. <laughs> She got that curve, boy. She can yeah. curve the bullet. I guess so. You, getting a good laugh out of this, you sick son of a bitch! It's a dog. God, if that's where it is. I'm not sure we can ever bring ourselves to get it. Is someone there? Oh! That, I believe, is... Oh, wait, that actually is you, yeah. Moshige, you're alive! I exist? <laughs> I didn't know, I don't even know what I am. Uh, Kishimo, in your class web. I'm very glad to see you both sound and safe. <laughs> sound and safe, huh? But say it's the same thing as sound, safe and sound. Fair enough. Hmm, what happened? I mean... Nothing, uh, nothing huge, if you haven't noticed, we're kind of basically in hell, Marshige. You can stand to give a shit. He does not. I know. He got glasses, man. <laughs> He's too cool. Look at, it's funny, he probably has one of the bigger discrepancies between his portraits, actually. Look at his, um, overworld portrait. He has, like, a, his shirt's popped for some reason. <laughs> He's getting it on with those buddies. <laughs> exactly. He, he probably, like, if you asked him, he has no problem digging up the dead body of our friend. Uh, it's been a long story. So, where have you been? I was in a second ring until a short while ago, but suddenly lost consciousness. And when I woke up here, it felt as if the air had somehow changed. Oh yes, and I did briefly cross paths with Mushida and his sister, but we split up because it's what we did. You did? So they're okay too? They are, though when I next ran into Mushida's sister, it seems she and her brother had parted ways. Uh, Mushida. What is that in your hand? Or Shige appears to be grasping a blood-soaked pouch in his hands. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. No. <laughs> He's fuzz. Yeah, it's like it's like he knew. It's like he was just up there, like having fun with. Wait, is he also meta gaming? This game sucks. Everyone's meta game. <laughs> She I does. think the like, a banning going on. I mean, <laughs> the moderators don't even have fucking tongues. I'm pretty sure it's just like he was digging through the blood for the levels and stuff. But if it's under the floor, like she said, it's under the floorboards. Yeah, hmm? I guess that's a fair point. Who knows this? Oh, I found it under the floorboards in the hallway. Also, 
How exactly did he manage to do that without getting covered in blood? I have no idea. Now that one's a good question. You'd think he'd, like, at least his pants and his hands and stuff would be covered in blood. Just up these stairs. Is it some kind of sham? Do you want it? Please take it. I'm merely searching for certain someone, so I have no need for shams at the present time. <laughs> Look at that intense glasses glare. <laughs> yeah, I assume he took like a flashlight and shined it in his face. <laughs> exactly. Can't see anything, but he looks good. Yep, that's how you do it. <laughs> Receive another tongue bag from Morshige. Even the game is like, fuck this shit, we have too many. <laughs> yeah. As with the others, there's a student ID name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 5-2, Yuki Kano. So wait, they were all missing their tongues, but that was not the correct tongue to the correct person. Yeah, that's correct. Why are they so fucking picky? <laughs> well, wouldn't you want your tongue specifically back if you if lost your tongue? If I was a ghost tongue? running around for like 200 years or like, okay, even just 10 years, I think I'd be happy to get any tongue. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. Uh, but no, ghosts are picky because that's how ghosts always are. I don't know why. So it has to be their tongue. But uh, yeah, the killer cut off the tongues of all of the children. And then part of the head of that one kid because he felt like it. Yeah, the killer is a dick. I he cut off the tongues, and I think he cut off something else, a different part from each one. It's like some of them are ones missing a head, ones missing an eye, stuff like that. Okay. Oh, you got time? Yeah. Well, I should be going now. If, if something is something wrong, Klauswe, you look like you have seen a ghost. I haven't. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yes. I'm Almost then, she just said we should all try to meet in classroom 1A. Which is why I'm probably not going there. Okay. <laughs> like, why does he just. He's such a weirdo. <laughs> well, I mean, it's pretty obvious he snapped considering what he's been doing. I'm guessing. But just snapped and there's just, like, not even giving us fucking <laughs> handshake. I, I. I mean, wouldn't most snap people not, I guess? <laughs> also, it was awesome. He just dragged the doll into himself like that. I don't know why, but I find that really funny. It wasn't from, you know, Suzy Moto's spot. Maybe it shifted a few feet over and he got it from there. I mean, if he didn't, then... That really freaked me out. Do you, do you see his hands ever covered in blood? Oh. I guess the hands were covered in blood. Never mind. Even then, us. I think there'd be more than your hands covered in blood if you dig up a like, body. Oh yeah, with like a body that splattered on the wall and there was gore everywhere. We gotta experiment this. We gotta like <laughs> scientifically research. We gotta contact MythBusters. Hey, could you do this without getting covered in blood? <laughs> Being like playing Disney would love it. <laughs> I'm I'm sure they would. Okay. Um, let's see, so... Oh wait, they don't want to go this way. Because, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, they really would just have been fucked. They can't even go that way. Yeah, they're not even willing to go up there. They would have been pretty fucked. Let's see, hey, infirmary, any stuff going on in here today? Nah, we've probably read that a million times. You probably die reading it. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, but I feel like we've read that article before. So... If there were four, does the, does the one in the bathrobe count as one? The bathrobe? The one that we just saw walking into this room. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, the one with like the red dress. Picture. I don't know. Ah, uh, let's see, I believe we've seen that before. So this hallway is back, so we probably have to go through there, but let's see. Um, is the... I'm gonna check, I don't think it's gonna be that convenient, but can we find the other ghosts hanging out up here? Cause that'd be cool, just like ghost party. Did you wanna not save? Uh, I was just thinking I probably should have, but I don't think I can turn back now. Let's see. This girl's missing an eye. 
All we've got is a tongue. Is that going to be enough? What do we do? Oh, shit. Uh, no, don't pull out the tongue peg. Let's run. Oh, You're she's gonna sad. die. I'm probably gonna die now, but it let me run away last time. But it doesn't want to let you run away this time. Probably not. Lowers her head and begins rocking slowly back and forth. Yuki Kano? Oh, apparently I have no say in this. <laughs> it's like, hey, you made a dumb decision. Just, you're gonna. This, this is. Last time happens. she cared about giving her the long tongue. This time she's just like, oh, you don't <laughs> want to give me my tongue? That's okay. I'm gonna just cry in a quarter now. Thanks, guys. This is for you. Yep, offered the spirit Yuki's tongue. And you. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, she had a lot better at talking yep. later. She just like puts it in her mouth and just attaches. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish if I lost my tongue, I could just, like, magically reattach it like that just by having it. I, I, I don't want to lose my tongue in the first place. Well, fair enough. We did it. We did it, Shidozaki. All three of them. But did he one guy did it? What's like, up the, the girl in red? <laughs> no, no more. Every time I talk to these girls, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to death on myself. I, you could you almost can't draw on yourself. I think you've come over the whole dying part. I <laughs> know, seriously. Do you have any idea what that's like? I keep picturing how I look when I'm dead. And I'm not, and I'm not even trying. So, so why isn't he doing it anyway? What's forcing her to do it? I don't know. It just pops into my head all of its own. And it's such a horrible image. I just want to go home, I just want to go home. Back to my mom and my sister. And Mushida. Don't we all just want to go back home, though? Don't we all just want to go back to Mushida? Exactly. He's such a cool dude. We should all just, after this, we should all hang at Mushida's place and get a pizza. Shinozaki. Alright. Next one is mine, then. Okay? So just try to pull yourself together. Wow. That was quick. <laughs> no. God damn it! Not again. I mean, you, you are kind of killing the ghosts that are like part of making this place. This one's kinda... big too. Which I, I, I gonna get split up on there. Maybe I don't know. Not the infirmary Not again. Not the infirmary. Oh no. Oh, oh, sounds. Oh no, it's a spirit. The black thing. <laughs> Those are the spookiest kids. Be careful of black things. Man, that's black screen. It sound like something blew up. I, or no, that was probably thunder. Was I knocked out? I think it's the second time this has happened to you. Where am I? This guy needs to stop getting his head hit. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. I don't. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I twerve it in time and space, but this, I still don't remember it. This part's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, I like a lot of this game, but um... Is this our classroom? No fooling? Go around and look I mean, at stuff. Most people would consider it a nightmare to wake up in the classroom. Let's see. The needle on the clock in this hall is pointing eight. There's not a soul in sight. Then shall I just go home again? Alright. Uh, we're collecting to buy a bouquet of flowers for our dear friend Susan. Who will be leaving us for a new school after the festival. 
300 yen per person. Contact Yumi Shinozaki for payment. The way that's written, it doesn't <laughs> sound like it's of charity so much as we're collecting. Yeah, I know, it sounds like a mafia person. thing. It's like, hey, we're collecting for Yumi's um, retirement. Pay up or we'll break your fucking legs. <laughs> I, 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 I could imagine these eight kids actually running this school like a mafia. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Don't but, make me put my spirit charm curses on you. Um, that should I got be, Kansas. <laughs> that should be the next sequel. Corpse Party. <laughs> mafia edition. So there's no Satoshi or Miss Yui or anyone else, huh? The shelves are filled with personal effects belonging to the class 2-9 primary and assistant homeroom teachers. Huh. Cool. Anyway. So nice. Yeah. Shinozaki! Hey, wake up! She's breathing, at least. Shinozaki, come on! Wake up already! Nah. Kishi Muna? <laughs> what is it? It was me waking up coughing. <laughs> I know, seriously. And panting. <laughs> what do you do when I fall asleep? Uh, uh, what? Nothing, nothing you wouldn't expect, Ayumi. Take a look around you. I can hardly believe it myself. But here we are. You know, it's kind of obvious this is not, you know, he, he's kind of being a dumbass. <laughs> no way! <gasps> We're back for real? This is really our school? I mean, th there's always just been blackness and white outside of our school. <laughs> I think that's more of just a weird game effect than anything. It's it, really weird. Check it out. Here's my desk. Oh no. Is it high for you? changed suddenly. <laughs> hmm? Oh, fuck me. Huh? I read his line. Yeah, you did. Mine too. It's right here. I can't believe it. It's That's true. Like one, that one desk doesn't have a chair. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know, there's a few desks that don't have chairs, actually. It's kind of weird. Yeah, we made it. We are home. We are home. Fuck yeah! Suck on that, world! Yeah, you're gonna make the ghost mad. <laughs> you're implying you didn't like the ghost world. She's gonna be really hurt. She spent a lot of time making that place. Yeah, seriously, I know. You, you, you'd think the ghost would be a little insulted, I mean... She imported those bodies from all over the world. <laughs> That would be the funniest if that was like at the end of the game the ghost is just like you guys are dicks. I've spent all this time making this awesome like spooky house and you guys just wanna leave. Come on, look at look at all these awesome bodies. Did you see all the blood? That's real blood. Do you know how hard it is to get blood and and write with it? It's not easy. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see home again. He's not yet home. These guys are really <laughs> obsessed with this school. Well, I mean, I think most people would be happy if they thought they were back in, like, not the ghost world. So you're saying this is still the ghost world? <laughs> I'm saying that I would be as hyped as they are to not be in hell. Oh, Miss Yui has cat food in here. I'm not sure that's the sort of thing she should be storing in the classroom, though. But is this Just really the t <laughs> is this really the time to be judging Miss Yui and her obsession with cats though? She's kind of dead. <laughs> she isn't, but you guys think she is. Yeah, you guys don't know where she is, so I think you shouldn't be judging her right now. Guess there's no Satoshi or Miss Yui or anyone else, huh? And like I said, she was just like on the highest place of ranks. <laughs> yeah. There's not a soul in sight out there still. Hmm. Try to talk. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. try the desk. Oh, maybe. 
I just have to check my desk. Oh, venturing out in search of others, you find that even the janitor has likely gone home. The lights are out and the halls are pitch black. Only the red glow of the light next to the fire extinguisher offers any respite from the quaint, quiet darkness of the school hallway. Standing around in the darkened corridors of the school building at 8 p.m. in the evening just feels so surreal. As the thunder and rain grow in intensity, the windows begin to condensate with moisture, turning white in contrast to the corridor's sea of black. Is this reality? Was everything up until now just a dream? Where am I right now, and what am I doing? <coughs> Well, Shinozaki, what's wrong? What is it? It's me leaving you for a minute. You just <laughs> die. Oh, jeez. Wait, I I'm playing that game now. I don't know what game you're talking about, but there sure are a lot of creepy, gropey hands there, and I don't like it. What? Ev ev it wasn't the evasion, it was something with E. That game where it did get creepy at every level. Eversion. Yeah, eversion. Well, I think that I don't think this is quite a version. Those do look like monsters from that game. Yeah. But they, to mean... be fair, this game never really uh, gave the idea that it was sweet and innocent. What the yeah, hell I mean, is right this? Right now, we're in sweet and innocent. Oh yeah, I get what you're saying. Well, it didn't last very long, now did it? What the hell is this? It's not over, is it? Okay, that is a fucking guy in Halo. It never fucking ends. <laughs> I know, seriously. Ah, uh, war. War never changes. Why isn't it over? Why? Nor does EA. Damn it. Fire it. Hi. It's you! No! I mean, that's kind of mean. Get back! <laughs> Don't come any closer! This is not the time to have a breakdown. I mean, I can't really fully blame her, but yeah, I get what you're saying. She's just said hi. It's you. Oh. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. On the day I was kidnapped, I remember I had a fight with my mom that morning. She really did not approve of my one eye <laughs> fashion. But I thought it looked amazing at that time. <laughs> Moms are so judgmental like that. Why is she telling us this? I, I have no idea. Okay, why are you guys so terrified by this? Human contact? No! <laughs> Being I mean, nerds! It's a, it's a ghost! <laughs> Wait, I know, but before they were trying to kill them, so... Uh, I think I was, I have them talk to me. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't want to see her face. So after school, I decided that instead of going home... I'd park myself in the outdoor walkway for a little and watch the rain. Have you ever used the wording of parking yourself somewhere? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I've I never... <laughs> I parked myself. I drove myself to school and then I parked myself right there. I might not be the most efficient car, but I sure do drive. <laughs> Cast only dies. Um, or tongues. Yeah. She'd be okay. And that's when Mr. Yoshikazu showed up. He sat down next to me. I told him all about my fight with mom, and he listened really closely and just kept saying, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He was sick and couldn't speak much, you see, but he was a very kind man. So he's not actually evil. I knew it was all a fake. I really liked him. He did, they did, I did it to themselves to frame him. <laughs> I find that hard to believe, but okay. 
He's committed suicide, obviously. Uh, but then... Yes? You two are nice people. It's not like the other guys who just don't want to die. I'm so sorry. She must be so tiny. She must be like fifth grader. Why does she, why does he speak? God, why did she say the last part of that? <laughs> uh, Yuki Kano, right? Well, I think she was saying like she must. She's really young, you know. She yeah, she's no, really but if she young saw it, she must be so tiny. <laughs> and then she spoke out fifth grader. Yeah, she she's so tiny. She must be like a fifth grader. That's. What just what the impl I guess the part that was the whole thought was like yeah. leading up to that. Uh, thank you for what you did back there, for making the effort to help those of us who were killed in that school. Didn't we succeed though? So why are you still here? No, you didn't, you idiot. You didn't play New Game Plus. Very yeah. good. <laughs> uh, if you don't play New Game Plus, you can't get the triple tongue sword and save us all. But we return your tongues and give you back your ability to speak out. <laughs> and everyone knows that speaking out and, uh,. Politics are the best way to win in the ghost world. You say, you say. Now we gotta teach him good grammar and good writing. Exactly. You go to the ghost world and say, "Hey, I'm not gonna kill these." She's gonna people. become ghost bomber. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill these people unless you raise our pay at least a hundred percent. We even got you murdered to repent for what he did. Is it just that you can't forgive him, no matter what? Well, I mean, he did kind of kill me when I was, like, ten years old. It has. It was an accident. <laughs> Appeasing he us... had a bad day. <laughs> Appeasing us isn't about forgiveness. It doesn't matter if we forgive or not. Repentance is between the criminal and the victim. It's the sole act capable of moving us. It's good to know that if these girls can talk, they're actually, like, actually very, very mad and all that. <laughs> yeah, I know. No one ever just hands them a fucking piece of paper. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I presume they, they seem like they're pretty upset without their tongues. I don't know. Some, something about just not having their tongues really pisses them off. Uh, I don't, I don't know. And we exist as fragments of the sacred ground upon which Heavenly Host is sealed. I believe that moving us is your best course of action. But it's not enough. His repentance just wasn't enough. Also, again, this was a bitch who cared us for giving her the wrong tongue. <laughs> I know, she was. Fuck that woman. <laughs> Uh, see, I told you, like, it's not just not, it's not just, like, giving them a paper. These, these ghosts are kind of dicks. So you're saying his words, the words spoken by the door, weren't good enough to appease you. Wait, why, did, I didn't, don't remember, did the door, like, apologize? Um. The same door that made fun about us and just torturing us? Because that door is fucking bipolar. It, it kind of did, but it did- I'm surprised they don't think about, well, what if the doll isn't saying it genuinely? Because the doll apologized, but it it was in a very non-genuine manner. Wait, wasn't that how the fucking it's thing like, got splattered? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We took the doll to the kids, and the doll was like, oh, I'm sorry I killed you, it, Yeah, like, honestly, we should ask, like, what the fuck was up with that? You spent it on a friend across the fucking house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who even does that? She's like, you guys are nice. Yeah, and you killed my friend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you Can you, you should probably like, undo feel that? bad. Can you like, put it back together, please? I know, it'd be really nice if you could. Huh? So, 
What then? Why do you feel the need to trap one innocent stranger after another in that godforsaken place? You child spirits are the ones who summoned us there, aren't you? That's not true. The hell do you mean by that? Yes, yeah, let the go. <laughs> Yoshiki. <laughs> I mean, Yoshiki's just having the thoughts we did. He's like, he, I know, but he's like, I'm using my intimidate stat and it's gonna I'm, work. I'm gonna intimidate ghost. I'm gonna go up and punch this ghost in the face. We're just the cogs that hold the closed spaces together. What? But you, you killed Suzumoto, didn't you? Wait, I didn't really like huh? that. Either. Let's hear her out. I mean, she, she might have had a good reason. I didn't like her dress. I'm just glad I was able to get even the two of you back to safety. Why the hell are you suddenly so concerned about us? I heard about this, a situation like this for my sister once. How really? does your sister do? <laughs> yeah. Lost soul whose life was ended violently and abruptly, leaving her with a mountain of voice and regrets. It's kind of like stopping short of the edge of madness. With all sorts of thoughts and feelings swirling around in your head. Where did your sister pick this up? <laughs> I know, seriously. Like, what is your sister a ghostbuster? Should we just call her in and be like, Hey sis, can you appease all of these ghosts? Kay, thanks, bye. We're gonna go watch TV now. Wait, we have a TV in the bottom. There. Yeah. And I want to <laughs> it, it, It's only static, but it was. You can't... Your kindly nature and your sudden hatred and panic begin to spin around and round, and you just start acting out without any sort of control. And then you Why splatter people across the home. Your sister is some kind of medium or something? Yeah, something like that. She hangs out with this weird guy with really strange hair. <laughs> He's kind of a porcupine. Uh, oh, I thought, I thought you were talking about Banana Head. I realize now. I realize now, you're talking, clearly, you're talking about Gumshoe. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, gums don't grow on, gum doesn't grow on trees. But shoes do. <laughs> yeah. Shoes, gum grows on shoes. So, what you're saying is, this little girl and the creepy little girl we met before are two sides of the same coin. I fear for you, I really do. So please, please bring back the rest of them. Mushida, Miss You, and everyone else too. Bring them all back home. I, again, I mean, I guess she's trying to freeze, but I'm like, you had a breakdown like two minutes ago. <laughs> and now you're like, I forgive you, spread out my friend across the house. It's okay. <laughs> it happens. I get angry sometimes. Uh, Some it, of us saw a keyboard, as a, other people saw the, like, the sister. It, yeah. it, <laughs> it's kind of weird. I mean, it's, it's that kind of thing where it's the most... I mean, I think this conversation is the most realistic versus this conversation I can imagine, but it's still all over the place. But talking to someone who's a murderer without just being like, I'm gonna bash your head in, is pretty hard. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Right? So why did you come in with like all these ghosts? Like you really didn't <laughs> say yourself. Uh... I know. Seriously, you would have sold the fact that you're nice a bit better if you just popped up instead of just being like, "I'm gonna bring my horde of gropey hands." That's not creepy at all. I don't think that's possible anymore. Why not? Those closed spaces. Have you eaten a lot of innocent souls? Far too many, in fact. You're getting kinda of shabby. The grudges of those who died there have filled every last corner of them. There's no room left. And because the agony and <laughs> Yes, the agony and pain of McDonald's. 
That is, it is quite hard to fit anyone into McDonald's because there's too much agony and pain. Wait, Isaac, so many people die at it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I'll keep me in mind to never go to the McDonald's in Canada. I mean, I'd never go to one anyways, but jeez. Sounds like the worst. It's begun feeding on the minds and souls like us who are bound there. It won't be long before I turn back into a vengeful spirit who attacks people like you without mercy. I wish I could make that excuse. <laughs> just like 101 beating up people. It's like, I'm sorry, it just kind of happens. Well, Demon stuff. I mean, if you were a ghost, you probably could. <laughs> Damn it, why did no one kidnap me as a kid and they kid him? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you should um Do you mean you wanna go cut out my tongue now? No. I'm sorry, <laughs> not really. It's why don't <laughs> you should just like go and ask one of your mooses to impale you or something. It'll probably be the same. So we're going to lose you as an ally then. So why don't you just hurry up and bring them home right now? Isn't there any way for us to save Mushida and the others? I don't really, really care about Mushida right now, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's like, hey, everyone needs to be saved, but mostly Mushida. He's like, I got a big boner for him. There may be one way. What is it? I think you already know. You have to return to the closed spaces. Find all four of us heavenly host serial kidnapping and murder victims. And put us all to rest. Then, the closed spaces won't have co their cogs anymore. So they'll begin to fall apart. And you just might get your friends back. Might have just get ripped into pieces, but yeah. we got a chance. <laughs> you expect us to go back? And uh, so, mm -hmm. so wait, we did three of the four, and then she's like, oh yeah, you can go home now. Unless you really want to do all four of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little bit weird to offer us that like at the very end when we did most of the work. Yeah, you, you would think they would have offered this at the first one. Maybe the other ghosts are just kind of du douche <laughs> douchebags and don't really care as much, though. Maybe the second one kind of had a hard time talking. <laughs> this time. Yeah, yeah, it's like, I would offer you guys to go home, but I'm missing a head, and I think if I did, you guys wouldn't even get it. And this time, instead of just having one person left to appease, we have to go back to the drawing board and appease all four of you? We do. Again, from beginning. What the oh, fuck is wrong with you people? I get it. We have to we have to appease them completely. So you know how she's missing an eye. We have to find her eye. Jesus fuck. <laughs> These guys are like fetch crested carnage. <laughs> Can we just like take a fucking break and put it in her eye socket? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't think that's how ghosts work. She but becomes we super heal. She becomes rock eye. I rock. Yeah, I exactly. All the all the powers of a little girl combined with all of the powers of a rock. I'm sure it'll really catch on. Why couldn't you tell us the reason your, our previous efforts went good enough? What is there to hide? It's just... Something I don't want to remember, but... If you really want to know... I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything that happened. Yuki's spirit gently took a hold of Ayumi's hand, and in an instant, their two beings seemed to merge together into a single mind. Sorry, she's awoken? <laughs> Pretty much. This goes through all kinds of magical bullshit. What's going on? Sh Shinozaki! It hurts! It hurts! Ah. Yeah, it, it was very convincing. <laughs> it was. Yeah, you're pretty good at uh, voice acting there. I almost wonder. 
Should we get through this or should we end off here for an epic cliffhanger? Because actually this part goes on longer than I remembered. How much longer has it gone? I mean, I don't know an exact number. or Probably another ten minutes at least. I think it's a good place to end here. Okay. Well, thank you but, for watching. And next time we will reveal the backstory. The it's hidden truth even. behind the ghosts. Spoilers. Take